After a closed-door meeting with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the Ukrainian opposition said they want money from Europe so they don't need to rely on loans from Russia and that they want the EU to consider sanctions on the foreign business interests of Ukraine's wealthy political leaders. Merkel has said before it was too early to talk about such moves, but the leaders were still grateful. We highly appreciate the support that has been uh, given by the Chancellor to the Ukrainian people in order to stabilize political situation in my country. Uh, the agenda that we follow are as, as it is. The first one is we need in my country to avert any kind of violence and to stop the bloodshed. Germany has been trying to act as a mediator in the crisis. Its foreign minister was in Moscow last week to sound out the Russians, who see Ukraine as part of their natural sphere of influence. But Germany is above all keen to support European Union efforts to bring about an end to the standoff. So the big goal of the visit was mainly to achieve a show of moral support. The people that demonstrated at Maidan need to hear that what they want, fighting corruption, transforming the Ukraine into a Western-type democracy, being committed to what the European Union stands for, gets the full support of countries like Germany or anybody in the European Union. The opposition has been making headway in the past days, obtaining the release of some 300 jailed activists and a pledge from the government that they won't be prosecuted. In exchange, demonstrators ended their occupation of City Hall in the capital, Kiev. On Tuesday, they hope a vote scheduled in Ukraine's parliament, one changing the constitution, will take away some of the president's powers and make possible a shift towards a more pro-European policy. Nick Spicer, Al Jazeera, Berlin.